In this video, we're getting back to budget shaving with the $1 Assured Twist to Open Razor and the $1.50 Derby Shave Stick. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today, and if it's your first time here, welcome aboard. So, as mentioned before, today I'm looking very much forward to this budget shave. I just love doing these budget shaves. It's been a little while since I did a, a very extreme budget shave, but today we're gonna do that. And we're gonna start with using the Assured Twist to Open. We'll show you what it looks like in the package right there. These can be found at Dollar Tree in the United States and I'm sure other dollar stores and whatnot uh, abroad. This is a Twist to Open razor. It's cheap. Uh, I don't think it'll last forever, but I've gotten a couple of good shaves out of this. And we're going to use it again today with an Astro Blade, which oftentimes can be found for under $7 per 100, or sometimes you can get several hundred and it comes even cheaper. So inexpensive blade and very inexpensive razor. And you might get a lazy door or something on this razor, but it does work. There was one guy who used to claim this razor was broken when I used it, but it works just fine. Anyway, uh, also we're using the Derby Shave Stick. Now I put it in a West Coast, Coast Shaving uh, holder, but uh, without the holder, these are usually around $1.50-ish. Sometimes you get cheaper, sometimes it's a little more. It's 2.46 ounces or 60 cents an ounce on our chart, which is an ab absolute chart buster. Uh, this Shave Stick is made in uh, Turkey. And it's just got your uh, like Arco lemony, industrial lemon, I would call it type scent, like lemon pledge, something like that. I don't mind that scent at all. Some people do. Uh, I think it's a, a fresh scent. It's clean. I mean, when you use cleaning products, this, this reminds you of clean. So I don't mind it. I'll put the ingredients for you right there. And then we'll get to, to misting. We'll hope today not to open that uh, blemish right there, but... No promises, about 24 hours growth, somewhere around it. And uh, we'll get a nice budget shave today, or at least that's what we're setting out to do. The brush will be the uh, the old Razor Rock Big, Big Bruce, which at one time I've seen on sale for $9.99. I've had this brush for a long time. Uh, so long that the, you know, the paint on the handle's wearing off, but uh, it has served me well. And with shave sticks, uh, you don't have to have a holder. You can just use the stick. You peel the paper back and simply rub it on your face and get a good soap load. And if you have to reapply it in between passes, that's no cardinal offense. You're allowed to do that. Um, do whatever it takes to make your shaves as comfortable and, and, and excuse me, as enjoyable as possible. And so if you have to revisit the puck or revisit the stick or whatever the case may be, don't worry about it. It doesn't make you any less of a shaver to have to revisit the puck uh, or the stick or what have you. This, to me, I don't mind the scent at all. It's it's very much like Arco in terms of what it smells like. Okay, let's get to lathering. And we will expect to have a nice shave today. This uh, Arco, or excuse me. I'm calling it Arco because it smells like Arco. It's actually Derby, made in Turkey, again. It will do the job. It will last a long time. And it will do it for not a lot of scratch, which you know, I enjoy. <laughs> I mean, I enjoy the the really nice, super creamy soaps that, that have that great pose and all that. Um, for me, post is not that important, but I enjoy the soaps that lather in a very creamy, yogurty way. But, um, for the most part, these types of soaps that don't necessarily have the goat's milk and all the really nice heavy butters and all, they will still get the job done. So don't ignore them. Throw them in your kit. Use them once in a while. And I think what it will do, if nothing else, is make you appreciate the uh, more expensive uh, stuff that you have. And so I like doing these sort of shaves, not only to have that appreciation for the good stuff, but I also, I also think these things work very well in their own right. Um, they will provide what is needed in the shave, which is some slickness 
and that's really all that's needed. Now this Assured Razor, which I'm gonna use, is actually fairly aggressive for a twist to own. Most twist to open razors are not particularly aggressive, or at least the Gillette, the vintage Gillettes. Uh, this one, it, it has a little more blade feel and efficiency. And I actually liked using it. That's why I kept it. <laughs> this was sent to me by Aaron uh, out of Canada. So presumably these are uh, available in Canada. And again, you can find them at your uh, Dollar Tree or they're on eBay. A little bit more expensive on eBay and places like that because I think people buy them and resell them. But $1, not bad. And it's actually a pretty good shaver for a dollar. Uh, it's, it's pretty amazing for a dollar. Now, would I expect this thing to last for years and years and years? No, I don't think you can expect anything this inexpensive in terms of hardware to last a long time. But I tell you what, in terms of the way the razor feels on the face, I like it because I find most twist to open razors to be a little too mild feeling for my taste. And this one, you can feel it doing its work. And uh, it does a good job. And so I have enjoyed using it. I think this is my third or fourth time using it. And it has not let me down. Feels pretty good. Um, just a very simple twist open, probably made in China or somewhere like that. I think you could expect that for this kind of price. But uh, honestly, for me, it's a pretty enjoyable razor to use. Did you guys see that darn Rob's drop? My uh, last evening, the brush maker, that darn Rob. That guy is a machine. He's like a, like an absolute machine. He has more, when he drops, man, he drops, he does them frequently and he does a lot. Like I think he had 40. And it, within a, and he just had a, a drop like, Two weeks ago, that guy does more work in a couple of weeks than a lot of brush makers do in two months. And his work is really nice looking too. It's not that, you know, again, I don't ever mean any offense when I say this, but some brush makers have styles that just don't appeal to me aesthetically. Now I'm sure their brushes are very nice and people enjoy them, but the larger, um, I don't mind a long handle, but I don't like these giant fat handles. That, that, And one thing that I really don't like at all is anything that's asymmetrical. So I've seen some brush makers, and actually I pointed one out recently to a friend of mine. He, uh, he was showing me a picture of his brush, and I said, that thing is crooked, man. And then he was like, oh, I didn't even notice. Crooked things like that immediately draw my attention. And it just sticks out to me, so I just can't deal with those crooked brushes where, you know, it's it's turned and there's a line that's clearly not symmetrical or there's more taken off the brush in one area than another. I just can't deal with it. But um, that darn Rob, I mean, his stuff just looks great. And he does it, you know, he's a very efficient at doing it. All right, here we go for pass two. Just having a nice, enjoyable shave again. As you look at the lather there, it's not going to win any awards for being creamy, but creamy is not what we're going for today because we know this soap isn't one that <laughs> has those sort of ingredients that lends itself to a super, super creamy lather. Although if you work a lot of lathers enough and get enough water in it, you can make, make them creamy. Um, but today we just want to get a nice close shave and use this nice budget equipment. Um, the scent on this, when it gets on your face, actually pretty strong lemon. Like I said, it reminds me of a, lin a lemon cleaning product of some sort. That's why I call it like an industrial lemon. It's like you sprayed furniture polish or something, which uh, a lot of people don't care for, but it doesn't bother me in the least. I like things that smell like, for example, for example, I like the smell of Tide. I like the smell of Downy fabric softener. Um, those scents to me always make me think of clean. And I like clean, you know? 
And so scents like this don't bother me at all. Now, would I prefer downy scent to this? Yes, I would. Um, but this one is just fine for me as far as scent goes. Okay, let's wet the face. And go again. Oops, I'm dropping my mister in the... <laughs> Dropping my mister in the sink there. And again, we'll have plenty enough lather. Actually, you can get by with a thin lather. Um, we'll do a thin lather deliberately just for this patch, just to show you. All I need is like a thin, you see that lather is almost translucent. That, that bump is driving me nuts. <laughs> see how thin that is? It'll work just fine. You don't really have to have a thick, lather. You just need enough to allow the razor to do what it needs to do. I'm trying to go over that bump there gingerly as to not cut it open. You can hear, you can hear that hair being cut there too if you listen. Let's see. I don't know if that's coming across in the camera or not, but this razor definitely cuts well and it's a dollar. Now, when you get it and you hold on to it or you look at I mean, it's not, you're not going to think it's a, you know, top of the line razor, but I'm telling you what, I prefer this razor to like the twist that opens that you find on, say, Amazon, like the Vander Hagen's and the, you know, Vikings Blade and all those kind of twist opens. I prefer this $1 one. In fact, in terms of the way this twist to open shaves. It is my favorite twist to open shaver in terms of efficiency. Now my other favorite would be the the super speed red tip but this one is more efficient than that I think. It's not as well made but it's pretty doggone efficient. But again I would not expect this thing to last. Um, especially if you're traveling with it or beating it up you know, if you just use it the way I am and you put it back in a, hang it up somewhere, it'll probably last a long time. But, you know, it could break just when you're opening and closing it. Could break when you're using it. I mean, anything can break, but I would not expect longevity out of this particular razor. But as you can see there, with that very thin lather, get the job done. And there is some residual slickness here that we can shave over. So uh, don't sleep on these old and expensive products. They'll get the job done. They might not bring you as much joy in your shave. It's kind of funny for me though, because I like using them because I don't use them often. So when I do, it's like, okay, this is old school, something different. And I always appreciate doing this every few months or so. I really enjoy it. Okay, let me rinse. We'll come back, get into the post. Stay tuned. All right, and today we just patted our... Uh, Face with the towel, we are foregoing the witch hazel and all that stuff. We're gonna use aqua velva uh, ice blue for the post. Uh, I have been decanting these plastic bottles into these um, glass hot sauce bottles. Um, so the plastic won't interfere with the scent. So I'm trying to use this plastic bottle up. Inexpensive aftershave aqua velva, four or five bucks probably. Um, we really had a good shave today with this budget equipment. It's amazing how well this stuff can work. Now let's, we got a good helping of some AV Classic Icy Blue. Ooh, I love the smell of this stuff. This just, it's just such a great classic old school scent. Let's roll again with it. Why not? We got plenty of it. It's inexpensive, might as well use it. Great, excellent shave today. I must say, I am extremely happy with it. We use the Razor Rock Big Bruce. Again, um, usually runs between $12 and $15, but I've seen it on sale for like $9.99. The Derby Shave Stick. Again, this holder I got from West Coast Shaving, but the stick itself, $1.50 um, to $2, and sometimes you can get two for less. The Assured Safety Razor. I'll show you a picture again of the package it comes in. Often found at Dollar Tree uh, with Astra SP Blade, uh, Amazon $6.99 right now. I'll put a link below. Really, really cool twist to open razor. I don't expect it will last, but I have been enjoying 
It's surprisingly a good shaver for me because of that added efficiency. So I really like this razor and hey, I'm keeping it. That tells you something. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me. I have been your host, CDB, and I'm reminding you, your shave, do it your way, do it your way. <laughs> Try to get some budget shaves in there from time to time, and I think you'll appreciate not only the budget, budget shave, but the nicer stuff that comes after it. Thanks so much for watching. God bless.